I don't know how to put this without sounding rude, but Marsha is becoming a pain in the butt. <laughs> I think she's becoming a teenager, and um, yeah, it's very annoying. She's a very happy dog, but she's become exceptionally whiny. Everything is just like the world's worst cat. And if you've been following me for a while, you know how I feel about cats. If you've not been following me for a while, I don't care for them. <laughs> uh, but last night she was whining until like one. And then she started whining again, which she'll sit next to the bed and whine a little bit. Usually when she has to go out for the first time, which gen generally has been around 6.30, which I find a reasonable wake up call. It's like, hey, I have to pee, please let me out. The sun's coming up anyway, wake up. She did that at five this morning, not thrilled. And I told Kyria the other day, it's like, listen, if she wakes me up after six with whining, that's fine. If anybody wakes me up with barking, that's not fine because don't love waking up with barking. <laughs> Millie, yes, you. Miss Screamo. Um, but anything else after six is okay in my book because, you know, their dogs have to go outside. That'd be. But not at five. Please, for the love of God, not at five. <clears throat> it's uh. Oh, hey, it's seven now. Great. I've been up for like. Well, <laughs> like I said, I was up at five. Now I try to go back to sleep, and then every ten minutes she would sit there. Ma! Like no, you you went outside. I watched you pee. Go away. You just want attention. <sighs> like the time I'm trying to organize my sleep and it's just no good deed goes unpunished. I told Kiri, I texted her earlier this morning. I was like, Marge is going to live in the garage. <laughs> like, no, but like I can dream, right? Lately, what I've been enjoying for the last two days anyway, we'll see how long this continues, is kind of getting all of my food kind of ready for the rest of the day. It's not like I'm, you know, cooking everything because I like to cook it, you know, as the time comes that I'm going to eat it. But, you know, preparing it, mostly it's ground, ground meat, ground beef. So I'll make like little burger patties and put them in the fridge for the day and just as they, as it comes time to eat, throw on the grill. I like it that way because I don't have to like dirty my hands a thousand times. I can take the burger patties that are like on the paper plate and just kind of bleh on the grill. Makes my life a little bit easier. Um, I want not grams, I want ounces. There we go. Well, actually ounces slash pounds, there we go. Okay. Yesterday I divided everything up into four meals, but I found that it wasn't like enough at a time. It didn't really, I don't know, satisfy me. So. Back to three it goes. Uh, nope, not quite. A little bit more. And it may be like expensive to eat this much meat. And kind of it is. But if you look around, there are always gonna be like sales. I think I've brought this up before. Like this is 90% lean ground sirloin from Publix. And ordinarily it's like nine bucks a pound. And that gets like, that gets pricey pretty quickly. But when it's on sale, it's $5.49 a pound, which is better. <laughs> and for like a very lean kind of cut of meat or a lean ground meat, I mean, I think it's a good idea. Let's see, what is two thirds of a pound in ounces? Oh boy. Five and a third? Five and a th Ten and two thirds. Five and a third is one third. Okay. 
had to do math and early is early math not good all right so let's do we have that for the day let's zero that okay and we remove it until we get to 10 and a third nope it seems like it's this is ridiculous and it, i feel like it kind of is as i'm like actively doing it um but i don't know it works for me and it's like for me it's not ridiculous because i've been doing it for so long I saw a quote the other day it was like the appearance of effortlessness is the result of the effort that has been put in for the previous years. And I think that's very true. For me, this looks and feels like not hard because I've been putting in the effort for, you know, 11 years of doing this. And it kind of makes me a little crazy when Sims like, oh, I'll just do whatever it is you do. It's like, well, no, you. That's like not the point. Like we are very, one, we're very different people. And two, like I've developed a particular skill set over the course of the last decade plus that allows me to do this the way that I do it. And even when I want to be more focused, I have to do more intricate measury things. It's the air conditioning repair guy driving by me like, could you relax? Like, I, I understand why people get a little upset about it, but like, you have to go through the, the process of understanding, like, all of this, right? So, when, I, when I'm doing this, I'm looking at this, this source, these sources of protein, and I'm thinking, okay, cool. With this, I will mutilate my protein floor, right? I will get way past my, like, minimum 160 grams of protein that I have set for myself. It's probably in the neighborhood of somewhere, somewhere around 200 grams of protein, plus or minus, let's say, 10-ish, right? So just knowing that based on this, I'm kind of covered with whatever else I want to eat for the rest of the day. It kind of, kind of doesn't matter in a macronutrient weight loss sense. It matters a lot more for like general health, of course. But from a macronutrient standpoint, and from a muscle standpoint, as I continue to rehab my leg, as I continue to continue to go back to the gym, as I'm back in the gym for the, you know, for, this is like my first week in two months and my blood sugar has been insane. Um, but the, like, this is, this is helpful for me. I think in my last video, I talked about how my blood sugar was just kind of all over the place and I honestly think it's because I started lifting again, because I found that my blood sugar like went way up, way down, way up, way down, and it was like, it was just not a lot of fun for like 48 hours. I think it's a little bit better back under control yesterday and today, but that's because I'm like really focusing on what I'm, exactly what I'm eating and not like really having big giant carb sources. It was, it was, it was tough and getting, kind of getting back into the groove is, is tough too. I was kind of drifting low, even though I just saw the endocrinologist, I adjusted some of my, um, my basal insulin rates. And again, it's one of those things where, you know, if you're brand new to diabetes, probably not a good idea. And if you take me being a physician out of it, because I know most diabetics aren't, um, I've been doing it for 30 years and I know that the change that I've made is not a big one. It's not a robust one. So I feel confident in kind of doing that. But you can see I'm just like making little hamburger patties, right? So I have three meals and this is like a little atypical in that most of the time my protein doesn't come from exactly one source. Uh, yesterday was uh, much more varied. It was uh, chicken, beef, and bison. I will probably have a little bit of chicken today at some point. I kind of pulled off eggs a little bit because if I eat eggs first thing in the morning, sometimes my stomach gets super upset. Actually, I think it's probably just egg whites. And I don't know that I want to consume four or five eggs just at once for the purposes of like calories and, and fat for the sake of getting my like four, four or five eggs is 
28 or 35 grams of protein. It's almost not worth it. Like egg yolks are probably the healthiest food on the planet, in my opinion. Um, let Bruin need to go outside. Marsha, could you stop biting Bruin's face? Like one of these days, the big dogs are gonna smack you and they are going to smack you in half. I need to open this with my elbow, so we're gonna figure out how this works. Cause I'm not, get, I'm not, I'm not about to get beef juice all over them. Ah, damn it, I can't. Can't open the door with my elbow. Sad. Drew, I know, I gotta wash my hands or else I'll get beef juice everywhere. This is exactly what I'm avoiding, is having to do this and wash my hands like 35 times, but that's fine. Bergy's such a goofball, cause I'll be like, I'll, I will have opened the door and be standing here the walls here, the open door is in front of me, and Bergie will stand behind me, try to get in between me and the wall to go out the door, and he just does not go around. There's two doors, like one is right here, and the other one is here. Bruin will often stand here when then this one is already open, and he just won't come around and leave. He just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if he can't figure it out, or he just like doesn't compute, or he's just so, structured and patterned that he won't kind of leave. I don't know. Ah, grill is at temperature. Hooray. And Kyrie will call soon. So I get to make my food, continue to make other food, make her food, and go for a walk. Oh, I'm wearing a sweatshirt in South Florida because it's 56 degrees outside. And I was like, no, I'll never wear a sweatshirt in South Florida. But I'm like, well, wait a minute, it's in the 50s. That's not unreasonable. Like, because my dad said, once it's in the 70s, yeah, you're gonna put a sweatshirt on. I'm like, that's, you're, no, you're full of crap. But it's in the 50s, so I have a sweatshirt on. All right, let's knock some stuff out and stop rambling. Young man, are you allowed in the kitchen? Especially when I'm cooking. Don't, don't punch me. Hey, relax. What? Ow. I think he wants a hug. Are you going to hug? Hey, you want a hug? Yeah, you want a hug. Okay, you can have a hug. You did ask nicely and you didn't just jump on me. Thank you. <laughs> you haven't figured out how to walk on two legs yet, have you? Let's go outside. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone leave. Everyone leave so I can cook. Scram. Couldn't tell if Bergie was punching me because he wanted a hug or he wanted to go outside and play, but he got both. So tonight is Kyrie's last night of her 10 night in a row stretch. And today, this morning, the, uh, the cleaning people were here and um, this, mind you, after, I don't, I don't have their phone number, and after two days of asking her, hey, just, you know, text them to reschedule, um, and, uh, yeah, forgot, and she called me at, like, a few minutes past seven, and was like, um, they, uh, yeah, they're on their way, it's like, oh, good, 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 um, but we, uh, we took the dogs for a walk while they cleaned the bedroom, and then she got to go to sleep at, effectively the same time. I'm just hopeful that the, uh, they didn't make too much noise. I was outside with the dogs all morning. <clears throat> and as I was about to go to the gym, a uh, pool guy came. <laughs> Thursdays are busy here. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so it's like 11.30. I have been like standing at the kitchen counter working for the last like, 45 minutes because I don't know I'm weird like I have a desk in there. There's a charger on by the kitchen table um, But I've just been standing here because I'm apparently insane A lot of writing to do today um, That will be finished um, today not a big deal and of course um, I get to go to the grocery store again. I swear to God I go like every Like every other day 
Oh, that reminds me. The one thing I want to add to the list is a microfiber cloth to clean my computer because it's disgusting. But it's mostly like, yeah, it's apples, oranges, lettuce, cucumbers, corn, and meat for me. <laughs> That's the grocery list. <laughs> uh, we run out of a lot of, uh, we run out of a lot of vegetables pretty quickly because every night is like a big giant salad. Um, and then I eat a ton of apples every day. One or two, at least. Uh, Kiri likes to bring oranges to work, so that's pretty much it, but, oh God, okay. Um, maybe I can be back by one. Today's supposed to be leg day um, in my training split, but you know, recovering from the one leg, so I'm gonna try to get some work on both legs in. There's only so much that I can do. It'll probably be uh, probably half an hour of um, just leg exercises, mostly trying to fix and help the right leg, but at the same time, you know, trying to also use the left leg a little bit. So we'll get that done, we'll go grocery shopping and we'll finish our work uh, for Yeah, I've been a little bit slow on Instagram content over the last week-ish. Curious sent me like three videos to blind react to, so maybe I'll do that. Um, she's like, don't open it yet. And I was like, okay, fine. So I didn't open it. I haven't opened it. I haven't seen any of them. Um, I, for, I feel like since doing more YouTube stuff and diving into Instagram, like TikTok is just like, I don't know, kind of fallen away. I like care a lot less about TikTok these days. It's just like one social media platform after the next, after the next, after the next. And yeah, there's just a lot. I, I, there's probably a, like an app that controls everything. Actually, I think Adobe has one. Maybe I'll check that out because it, I would love to be able to just Know, upload in various places at the same time so that I didn't have to go into each flip an app and do it that way but every app has different like formatting structures right like in, like Instagram reels will have you know you can have your caption be almost as long as you want uh, YouTube shorts like there's the title and then if you go upload it from like a, a computer you can put a description that people either can or can't see I forget and then TikTok, I'm not sure how long the potential description is for there, but it's just, I don't know. It's like the, the weirdest thing to complain about, but I'm gonna complain about it anyway. Um, I'm also gonna lint roll all this dog hair off my shirt before I leave. Yeah, because this is a problem. That's why my computer's disgusting, because of you creatures. Come on, let's go. Marsha, come in. I just came back in here to get my camera. Oh yeah, by the way, um, hopefully we're going to hang pictures there. And I think, if you'll stop flopping around, I think this bookshelf is not long for this world. Um, it's been a nice bookshelf. Had it since Chicago, so it's been a long time. But Kyrie, I think in another life, was an interior decorator, interior designer, whatever they're called. I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> Uh, makes me sound mean, probably. But she like has this, <laughs> it looks it looks kind of funny, but it makes sense for her. She's got this like keynote app, or a keynote, I don't know, slide, of what she just wants my room to look like, my office. Um, and since getting all this new stuff put in, I don't remember where I put the dog's treats. Ah, not there either, okay. Aha, success. Millie, get your nose out of there. You don't belong there. So we have sweet potatoes, of course. And Kyrie thought it would be a good idea to start giving the dogs glucosamine and chondroitin tabs. I will say the human studies on glucosamine and chondroitin are <laughs> not strong. But apparently, according to my veterinarian friends, um, it's a good idea. So. Where are any of these going? Where do you go? 
you, you, you don't get treats here, you get treats over there. You're a pain, giant pain, a yappy little giant pain. Yeah. I'll give you one guess which dog is at my feet. It's one of the things that I can't stand with, like, well, actually, there's a lot of things that I can't stand. <laughs> but with, with, like, dogs in particular, it's just kind of being in your face whenever they think there's, like, food to be had, especially if it's, like, not going to be theirs, you know? Like, begging at the dinner table, like, or, like, while I'm cooking, even. Because, I mean, Marsha will kind of putz around and largely be just confused. Hey, yeah, I didn't, I didn't call you to come over here. And then you can see kind of Bergie's butt over there. Oops. Bruin is distant over there. Thank you. Thank you for being where you're supposed to be. You guys have been through this before. You were, Millie, you were heading in the wrong direction. Millie, Millie, get over there. Go to your bed. Go. Marsha, go. Go to your bed. Continue over to your beds, ladies. Go. Go. Marsha. Bed. Sit. Thank you. Wait. Giant pains. Not yet, hang on. Get, get back over there. <sighs> I don't want to be disciplined. Grumble, grumble, grumble. So we'll do glucosamine and chondroitin. We'll do sweet potatoes. And we will go the heck to sleep. Do you want to make sure that like they get amounts appropriate to their size sizes, and uh, sometimes it doesn't exactly come out that way, but that's all right. All right. Well, I'll couple the treats, and with any luck, it'll be good enough to let me sleep. It's been a long couple days with the. Diabetes being wildly, well, for me, wildly out of control. It's not been a lot of fun. I did manage to get my first leg day in, in like two months. Of course, it wasn't anything like it was, but it's better than nothing. Unfortunately, my sleep has been trashed the last couple of days, week or so. Um, it's 10.01. I, I have completed my uh, nighttime routine, so once these dogs get their snacks, it is uh, nap time for me. But the question remains, who will wake me up and when? I'm hoping for Bergie at 6.50. <laughs> Guy can dream, right? All right, fam. See you next time.